Hello and welcome to Wine's Day, episode 82, <laughs> which is obviously a, com oh, where's your phone? You got your phone? This is obviously a completely working accurate working count mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the Wine's Day, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it is all good. Mm -hmm. Episode 82, that's an appropriate. Yes. So we, um... Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We're there. Are we there yet? Oh, nice. There we are. Look at that. Hey, hey, Sherry and Connie and Kelly and Ariel. <gasps> hey, hey, Tina and Alyssa. Cheersy McTearsy. Oh, you tried to put a fancy little strawberry on yours, did you there, huh? I'm pretty fancy. Oh, yeah. He fancy pants. I would have done. I would have put one on yours, too. You were, you were too anxious to get into that uh, <laughs> glass of wine. That's okay. <laughs> I didn't need a strawberry. All right. Hello, hello. Hello, Kristen and Melissa and please Jennifer. Make sure, please make sure to check out my lower third, which is comfortably dressed in that'sinappropriate.com forward slash welcome so that you too can enjoy mm -hmm. um, our newsletter. Perhaps get yourself the That's Inappropriate mm -hmm. app. All the information is over there. You can join the Hot Mess Express community, all sorts of fun things over there. But welcome, welcome. Aunt Pat's here. I have breaking Aunt Pat news. Oh. Everyone, congratulate Aunt Pat. She had to have her flooring completely tore up. Her ceramic tile flooring. This was yeah, not fun. I know. I heard. You know, that like when the house disaster. settles and the tiles crackle apart, it happens. It yeah. happens. She had to have her whole house ripped Redone. out and done again. So, hooray! It's finished. Yay! So now you just have to clean up dust forever, <laughs> Aunt Pat. Forever. forever. I remember when we were renovating forever. the house. Um, Mid wanting to get divorced because it was so awful to renovate. I haven't seen your phone, my sweet, but it's not like you to lose things. So <laughs> he's already mad at me. I may it's as well go laugh. there. <laughs> so um, I remember in the middle of all of that, we literally taped the house off like Dexter. And yeah, it, it did. That's what it looked it like. Was it was very much like, like visqueen walls. Dexter. Yeah. Because we painted before we did the floors. Well, and it was a disaster. Yeah. And there was still dust everywhere. But we did have it all decked. And you know what? I heard Dexter was coming back. I did too. But I thought he drove in. Never mind. I won't No, the he show. didn't. No. He's a lumberjack. He went off to be a lumberjack. Sorry if I ruined Dexter for you. No, but wait, he went I off thought he drove off into a hurricane. No, his sister's dead body did. Get with it. I wasn't paying Dexter's attention. Dexter's coming I, I got back. a little bored at the end De of Dexter. Oh, no, I watched it all. Dexter's coming back. All right. Shout out from a train in India. What, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, oh, Jeb is here. Hey, Jeb. Hey, Jeb. Hello, hello, Linda and Yes, I Sherry. did get a haircut. I needed yeah. one mm -hmm. badly. What? What's yes. the matter? I sent them to the car. To oh, car. okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with some breaking news in Oregon. Because um, we've got some... Okay, somebody's having a rough time tonight. Are you okay? I think he's having growing pains. Are you having growing oh, pains? Yes. Oh, no, he's, he's having, having broader oh. pains. Hold on, let me get that. Okay, it's all right. I got it. I it's, got if it. you could see the faces, it's, I got it. it's I got it. You're pure okay. pain. All right, you're all right. Did you have another one? No. You're so okay. here's the story. Man right. goes into a, a McDonald's. Yes. He has a craving. Yes. And that craving can only be satiated with thirty double cheeseburgers. Thirty double cheeseburgers. Not for not whatever one. doubles. Doubles. Oh. Doubles. So not two. <laughs> not seven. Thirty. Thirty. He so goes right up in orders. McDonald's informs him, "We're really sorry for whatever reason. We don't know why. For well, whatever reason, we can't serve you thirty McDoubles. I think it, you know, and it maybe have been close to like closing time, right? But he comes in and he's like, "I'd like thirty double cheeseburgers," and they were like, "Um, no." no. And so he goes, "Give me my burgers," and they're like, "Sir, no, you cannot have thirty McDoubles." He starts to tear down banners, the banners above the above the um it's straight up register. Rampage. He starts like hulking out, right? So he grabbed another patron by the shirt. He's like that guy that bit people in Walmart. Yeah, uh. and then he just hightails it out, and he starts climbing on top of the, climbing onto the pole where the arches are. Because he wants to pull them Because he was like, I'll get you, McDonald's. <laughs> and he started, oh. get out of here. Th and this is where the plan starts to <laughs> fall apart, because as you get to the arches, you realize, 
What am I doing? <laughs> he, getting arrested. So he got arrested for um, assault, battery, trespassing, misdemeanor, um, second degree disorderly conduct, criminal trespass, and criminal mischief and harassment. Bad so day. it was a bad day in Oregon, of all places. I don't know. Maybe he wasn't was, a Florida man. Maybe he was high, a recent transplant. high on the legal weed. And he needed his 30 Is it legal McDoubles. in Oregon? I want to say it's legal in Oregon. Mom. I believe that to be a true statement. Could be lying. Don't know. Crazy burger man. I did my that's an appropriate fact checking on that. <laughs> and uh, we believe it's it. It's a thorough, thorough fact checking. Thorough fact checking. Thorough. Yes. All right. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Um, are we talking this one or is it? Nah. No, we're skipping that. We'll talk about it later in the after party. After party. That's after, after party. It's the after, after party. party. Don't, Don't stop. stop. Woo! All right. So sorry. 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 Well, Mick you, Rage. Yes. It was. There hashtag, was. Hashtag. Hashtag Mick, Mick Rage. Rage. Oh no. Oh no. What happened? That's okay. Try the other one. Look how prepared we are. Ah, yeah. I bought the second hashtag for the office for the for the wall. It's gonna hang oh. on the wall. Hashtag Mick Rage. Mm. So I'll give you this one. You want to talk about in Duchess news? Duchess news. Duchess, Duchess news, news. Duchess, Duchess news. news. So there's all kinds of the the wet the wedding is fast approaching. It is. It's really going to be fast soon. approaching. The guest list has gotten gone out. So mm-hmm. if you've not received your invitation, you're not going. I'm sure mine just got lost <laughs> in the mail. You know how things go. Cross, right. Cross over the pond. Over the pond. Yeah. The pond. Mm. It's making its way. Yeah. I'm so sure. so they can't. Um, everybody's anxious to see what her bridal look will be. Like right. what her tiara is going to look like. Right. Because they do. I guess. And I don't really know much about the princesses, but I guess each princess. Oh, they each get. Yeah, yeah. They get a it's, different it's tiara. Unique. Yeah, yeah. And a different. Um, this way, scooch a dooch. They get a different. What is it called? A veil. Different veil. And they have all of these different things. Now, some of them in the past have worn the same ones, or there's been like family line things. Oh, like heirloom things. But I guess the one that everybody was hoping she was going to be wearing is on display in a museum in another country so during the time of the wedding so they know that she won't be wearing that. So now it's like they're they're excluding ones to figure out which one she's actually going to wear. And well, I say the Wait, American they don't just make a new one? It's a new one. No. No. No, no, it's like they, a thing. It's a yeah, thing. Yeah, they like switch thing. them around. I was reading all about it. I'm totally um, up to speed on Tiara news as one would hope you would be. That's what I spent my day on. Tiara news. Uh, Tiara news. <laughs> but um <laughs> that's what everybody was saying is yeah. what if what if they totally just shock everybody because they've kind of been doing this a long time? And she goes, way. no, Tiara. Or she just decides that she's going to just wear something totally different in her hair and not do that. Because they said they've really changed a lot of things that a normal royal couple would have done bedazzled traditionally. A bedazzled scrunchie. Maybe a bedazzled <laughs> scrunchie, you know. Bandana. A bandana. <laughs> did, you, did you see the a thing bandana. where, where Ru- Ruth Bader Ginsburg rated um, the cities by the best place to buy a scrunchie? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. BuzzFeed had an index of, of like ratings for cities, uh, and it was by Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and it was like the best place to buy scrunchies. Mm. <laughs> Cause, cause I want to tour the top three. You do need to know where to get a good scrunchie, but I'm you just know, saying because it's she, 1988. Right, well, but that's but you know what we're doing. Everything is being a reboot, and everything is a throwback now. Mm-hmm. So why shouldn't Meghan Markle? At, well, in other Meghan Markle news, so did you see the video of her pretending to be her royal highness as at a child? Eight, at eight. eight years old. She was I'm in the backyard you. of oh, a wow. friend's party. It was, pre- it was preordained. She was in the backyard of a friend's birthday party, and she puts on a crown, and she goes like this, and she's like, hello! <laughs> and God, and God, hello. God blew the wind so that the guy with the camcorder went like this. Yeah, and hello, her. hello! And there she was, getting, getting ready, and I was like... Megan, get out. <laughs> get I love Megan. Out. I'm on the Megan train. Yeah, so it was it's it's a cute story. I agree, Mary Lee. If I had the choice of wearing a tiara or not wearing a tiara, I don't know that it would ever come off. <laughs> <laughs> I might just like wear it in the shower. <laughs> like I'm I am royalty. Yeah, I could see you and do it as well. Like I might wear it to bed. All right, all right, moving on, moving on. So, in more crim, we have a lot of criminal news. Right? I don't know what happened this week. Is it a full moon? It must have been a full moon, but we had a lot of criminal news. We had a lot of criminal news. Oh, they want a Daphne update. Oh, she's Stewing here well. and she's she's taken to her perch on the couch. She's so she must on be the couch better. and she is well. She's doped up on the opioids. So she's part of the epidemic. She's. Okay, she can't open her own bottle. I'm an enabler. No, I'm not. It's <laughs> Someone's prescribed. Talking about her. 
your farmer's tan. You've been out tending to the chickens? I, I have been tending to my chickens, or the gals, as I The gals. <laughs> the oh, gals. we've gone sideways. Kitty, Kitty, Wheezy, and Phyllis. Phyllis. Phyllis is a handful, though. Phyllis is a handful. Yeah. She digs lots of holes. She does. She's a digger. But no, Daphne is doing well, and Velma is doing well. She has been adopted, and the um, new family has been sending me text messages and pictures every day. And he was so sweet. He's like, I, I just, I, Wait, I hope this isn't rubbing salt in a wound. And I said, no, no, I want oh, to see good. this. Yeah, yeah. It's good for us. And he goes, oh, good. You had okay. an open adoption. We did. Yay, Yay adoption. adoption. We did. And I have to say, as much as I, I do cry a little bit each day, because this has been really tough for me and for the kids, it's really that this family has no children, no other dogs. It's done, that she's doing great. And she greeted him today with a wagging tail, so he got all excited. Mm. So it's going good. So this this Krista guy. Krista wears her wedding tiara, and she's divorced. <laughs> if I if I am telling you, if I got married and there was a tiara, oh, I, w- I don't know that it would ever come off my head. Yeah, I don't I don't know that I'm a tiara kind of gal, but maybe one I think day I might be. You are for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and so is Phyllis and Kitty and whatever the hell their names are. All right, so. This guy lives out in the woods in Pensacola, and it's a hike to get out to his house, right? And Pensacola itself is sort of out in the woods. It's out, and it's woodsy. Like, if you don't know Florida, like, Pensacola is, it's in the... Go to nowhere. Go to nowhere, and then go a little further. Yeah, And so, and so Pensacola um, is out in the middle of nowhere, and this guy goes home, lives by himself. Mm Mm-hmm. And he walks in the front door. So how freaked out are you if this happens? He walks into his front door, and here's the shower on. (laughs) Okay, so he's like, wait a minute, I live alone. So he does what any normal person would do and says, who's in there? Don't worry, it's just me. So some guy goes, it's just Cameron. And he's like, who the hell is Cameron? So of course he gets his gun and he waits and Cameron. Because if you live in Pensacola, you definitely have a gun. Well, and he waits and Cameron comes out in a towel and he is freshly showered and he's like, why are you here? And well, Cameron had uh, been partaking in the LSD, and he decided, I need a shower right now, right in the middle now. of nowhere, broke into this guy's home, takes a shower, and basically after that, he just sat on the couch while the guy called the cops, and he was like, it's cool, oh, I'm not going anywhere, it's fine. <laughs> he just sat there, so the guy was like, can you come... In a towel? In a towel, hanging out. He was like, I just needed a shower, you know? You know, I, the, he, those LSD fueled binges just. I didn't even know sweat. people still did that. And uh, no, I don't mean to say that Pensacola, all of Pensacola is the woods, but I'm saying you're in the woody part of Florida. It, like, once he, you get yes. to North Florida, but this, it's like woods. This guy it's like lives, a different country. This guy lives well, on Acreage out it's there. It's not too, like where we In live. the middle of nowhere. But. If you apparently just go a little bit further south in Pensacola, we have another story for you. <laughs> this Welcome woman, to Florida. <laughs> this woman um, gets... Uh, t- Crystal Gail Amerson, 29, woke up at 4 a.m. on Sunday severely ill. She had recently gone to a Chinese buffet where she felt that she had gotten sick from some General Sow's chicken. Mm. She had. She said she had too many plates of it. Oh, she ate too much. Ate too much. Oh, she said she got a really bad you know, upset belly. Did I thing. tell you one time I ate so much at a Chinese buffet that like they're like you need to leave and then no I got sick. The BM was asked to leave a Chinese That's buffet it. for over. You physically partaking. made yourself ill uh, by so eating at a I Chinese buffet. I got sick buffet. in front of a blockbuster. You puked. You yeah. ate, so and he got sick so in front much. of a blockbuster. So you know it was like at least a decade ago. It was yeah. so 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 That's good. That's disgusting. Though. Penny. The girl Penny in her Chinese buffet. Oh my gosh. And he knew them by name too. He went to this Chinese buffet. Anyway, so this woman goes, she goes to the hospital and she's like, listen, I weigh too much General Sow's chicken. Super sick. Super sick. So they start looking at her and I, I guess the, doing an the exam. General Sow toots. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they start doing an exam and they're like, ma'am? Ma'am, could you possibly be pregnant? And no. she's like, no, I'm not pregnant. A few hours yeah. later, she, she delivers a seven-pound baby. She was 37 weeks pregnant, apparently had no idea. It's like that show on TLC. I was just show? about to say, do you guys remember I didn't know the show I was like, where the ladies are like, on the toilet, and it's like, there's yeah. a baby. Oh, the it was, it was something called, in my pants. It was and, called I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant. Well, and I... 
I've known some pregnant ladies. Never once have I thought that it could sneak by undetected. Apparently it Shout can. Shout out to Decatur. And, and apparently it does. And this woman believed she was just ups- just had too much at the Chinese buffet. But she gave birth to her second son. And this means she was pregnant before. So that's what I don't get. So she's been pregnant before and didn't recognize the signs, like, the and, signs symptoms. and symptoms? So I yeah. don't know. It, Anybody? The women, wait, the women wait, that wait. I know have had multiple symptoms of pregnancy. I need to know, has anybody in here not known they were pregnant and then given yeah, birth? Yeah, we're asking. Anybody or, in here? Or just forget about giving birth and like go in thinking like once you're in the I third trimester. When you're in the third trimester, like... Well, Things are happening. You it, know you're pregnant. But I mean, I I don't know. It happens. My my ma'am was six months pregnant before she found out she was pregnant. Six months. You, you're on the edge of, I'm like, all right. But like, if, when you get to like eight months pregnant, like there's, yeah. it's like, what do you, it's like, oh no, that's my stomach alien. Like, I don't, you Look, know. Look, it happened to Jessica. What? Did I didn't know I was you? pregnant 41 weeks. I was told I was 22 weeks and having a miscarriage. <gasps> so, some people don't get so, from what I saw, some people, they don't, some women don't go out. It goes in. Like. Right, but. but so, you're just feel super uncomfortable. Yeah. So, right. doesn't yes. the baby kick? That's what I well, didn't no, understand. Well, no, I did read that. Not all babies are super movie or yeah. whatever. Yeah, but so here's the thing. Kelly, my way, knee is a mess. I go to the doctor tomorrow. Yes, he's going to the orthopedist tomorrow. He's brucking the knee. So, we are waiting to see on that. And I know what happens. Uh-oh, did we freeze? Oh, we had a little glitch. Um, I know it does happen because I watched every season of it on TLC. <laughs> so I'm telling you right now that I was glued to that because I was like, oh, I was I was so in shock, but I totally know it happens. Well, I find the whole thing just super interesting and there mm-hmm. should be that show should continue. Yeah. Because I want to hear all the stories of babies. That oh, and that's like right. Lanika didn't know. Like I know Lanika. Gina. And Lanika Gina didn't was know. That's right. Months, I forgot. Tina was five months with her fourth before she found out. I, but like, yeah, but like tell first and second trimester, like I get it. But in the third trimester, like there is a person trying to climb out of your I body. I guess like hey, anything else, it's all different. Yeah. They really are all different. I mean, I was I was severely um, sick with the uh, first two and didn't have nearly as much pukes with the last one. So it's all different. It's all it all changes. I guess. And man. the heartburn with some was worse than the others, and the back pain was uh, was with all of them. Anyway, bunch of turds. All right. This I need little ears to go away. This story is go. suggestive, go, 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 so I need go, go, go. all of my children. Children need to leave. Children, they hate the children, go children. We 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 got a in the house audience tonight. We do. Like, we do have an audience. We have, we have like an a audience of section. twelve and under. So I need them to leave for this leave. story. Leave now. So if you're twelve and under and watching, yeah, you should also not ears. be here. Probably fourteen and under. <laughs> <laughs> What's the what are the ratings for TV? PG thirteen. PG thirteen. This is why well, no no it's MA but it's close. All right. So this woman, <laughs> Ladonna Hewitt. Decide. Oh, LaDonna. She, LaDonna gets sauced. I want a shirt that says, oh, LaDonna. LaDonna. No, I want a shirt that says, LaDonna sauced. LaDonna, <laughs> LaDonna got sauced. Okay, she, she was drunk. And she decides, you know where I want to go right now? Because it's the middle of the day and I'm drunk. I want to go. I want to go to the Mansfield Mall. <laughs> So LaDonna goes to the Mansfield Mall. Hopefully she did not drive. I'm hoping LaDonna took an Uber or a friend who was like, I think this is a great idea, LaDonna. You're sauce. I'm going to take you to the Mansfield Mall. Yeah. So she goes to the Mansfield Mall. And what does she see? The Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny. It's Easter time. It is the season. And what does she see? Spring springtime. So what spring does, is in the air. So <laughs> logically, so logically, what does LaDonna, when she sees the Easter Bunny, what does she think? I gotta feel that fluffy tail. So she gets in line to go see the Easter Bunny, and and there are pictures online. She literally walks up and just she latches onto the bunny and starts to show us. No, I can't even no, do it to him. I don't want to be the bunny. <laughs> <laughs> be the bunny. <laughs> she grabs a hold. She's got one leg she's up making and she's suggestive motions going with the bunny. to town. LaDonna was arrested for lewd and lascivious acts. She, on gave, she gave that bunny the so, business. She gave that bunny the business. Apparently, she was so loud that families were. And then, wait, and then wait, wait, wait. I had quotes. 
We received a report from citizens <laughs> that an unusual uh, of unusual events. They called to let us know that at Richland Carousel Park, an intoxicated female was doing lewd things to the Easter Bunny. <laughs> assistant chief says. So and they, then um, she got in the carousel and wouldn't get off. Yeah, she was there. like, "Make me, make me!" And we're no, like, no, "Oh, that's like my midday <laughs> drinking." <laughs> when we watched the oh, Ladonna. LA to Vegas, and he sees the guy wrestling the the little dummy, and he goes, "Ooh." And I always thought I didn't have a fetish. Oh. That's what I thought Do of Do you this. guys watch this. that? What is it? L.A. to Vegas? It's, it's, it's pretty it's, funny. And I, I, I really like, totally what is that guy, Dylan McDermott? Yeah, yeah. Dylan McDermott's yeah, 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 a like good-looking dude. McDermott. Um, but seriously. Oh, Laura says she lives five minutes from there. <laughs> Laura, find me LaDonna. I oh. want to have her on the show. Hashtag. Hashtag bunny gronked. <gasps> She got Ooh. double gronked. She, she double, double gronked, gronked the, the Easter Bunny. Oh. Like bunny gronk. Oh, Latana, you really need to. <laughs> bunny, huh? You need to get that in Hashtag check. mature Thunder Bunny. No, <laughs> mature Thunder Bunny. Stop. <laughs> All right, so Latana made a boo boo. <laughs> what, what was the What was the rabbit's name in in Bambi? Thumper. Thumper. <laughs> <laughs> You're making yourself laugh. <laughs> No, you cannot make this stuff up, Michelle. It's absolutely true. I can't. Look! This is not... There's no... Starting Tuesday, I start looking for these things, okay? And if anybody message me, because you guys message me and you mm-hmm. send me stuff, I keep them every Sometimes week. Sometimes the best stuff comes from you guys. And I make a list, and I just keep going. I mean, how do you not add Thumper to the list here, right? All right. Yeah. To the app. Oh, BT Dub, check BT-dub, out BT-dub, check BT-dub. out my BT-dub. lower third. Do you have it for me? <laughs> mm-hmm. Check out my lower third. Go on and get your app. Get your app. I'm LaDonna. Get your app. Get your app. Go get your app. Where, where am I pointing over to? There. Over here. Over there. Go over there and sign up. Get your app. And you would know today the video that I released. You would already yeah. know because it's on yeah. the app early. Yeah. You don't have to wait if you have the app. And today's video... Yeah. It's about swamp ass, people. Yeah. You need to see this, yeah. okay? Also, a.k.a. monkey butt. A.k.a. vagina hyena sweat. So I'm Oof. just saying, I'm sorry, but I talk about it, and it's already on the app, and people, it was it was widely viewed today online. It was. It was. Even made it the Twitter buzz. The Twitterverse. The Twitterverse. Made it to the Twitterverse. So make sure to get the app. Sign up now. That's free. 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 Free! <laughs> Hashtag hide my eggs, please. Hide my eggs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was a good hashtag. That was a good hashtag. In other right. southern news. In other southern news, if you're in Louisiana and you are getting ready for a gender reveal party, mm-hmm. how would you want to reveal the sex of your cake? unborn baby? A cake? A balloon? Balloons? Fireworks? Um, one of those poster boards, like a school project? <laughs> Like it's what a damn science fair. That's how I'll do 50, it. 50 50. Okay, get out of here. No. Glitter. You inject a watermelon with the dye, either being pink or blue. This isn't where it goes sideways. And then you feed said watermelon to an alligator whose snapping jaws crack it open. In front of your family. In front of all of your family Loose. and friends. And it's a big one. This yeah, alligator, was a big alligator was big. He was a big fat boy or girl. I don't know, but it was a big one. And but it's okay because the the Louisiana man, T. Mike the Gator King, was T. Mike the Gator King. Okay, so he goes on Facebook Sunday. He's got a tiara. Mm-hmm. Legit. Mike Gilbert, the alligator wrangler and trainer teeth. who runs mm-hmm. Kilbert's Turtle and Alligator Farm in Hammond, Klebert's. Louisiana. Kleberts. Where the hell is Kleberts? Kleberts. Kyle Burts. No, you're reading it in the wrong. K L I E. Kleberts. 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 Kleberties. Sure. Uh, alligator Farm in Hammond. He is T Mike the Gator King. So he says, in quotes, First thing that came to mind when my girlfriend and I decided to have a gender reveal party was alligators, as everyone's is, of course. Yeah. I, I was thinking, like, the kid would be like, Mommy, why, why can't Daddy hold me? Because he's lost his arms to <laughs> no, the gator. you could tell when this guy was handling the alligator. No, he's handled some alligators. That he had handled plenty yeah, of handled them. handled some gators. Because if you're from Florida, like we are, I've seen, I don't know, countless amounts of gator shows, whether yeah. it's at the zoo or yeah. at the alligator farm. And, and they do him. know... And Morgan. Yep. Sounds like us down here. I know him personally. There you go. <laughs> so what I'm saying 
thing is, I knew the second I looked at this guy because people were like, oh my God, I can't believe that some man would do that. It's like, now, obviously, he's yeah, trained to do that. Sure. Because I can tell you. But I do it. feel like his family is awfully close to the reveal. I don't think I would be that close. I wouldn't be that close. But I'll watch it on that film. That was not a small game. From the patio. But he yeah, was, that's... And that's the whole thing. He's, this was a big engator, but you could tell this guy obviously did this, like, for reals. Like, it wasn't, I, like, he didn't put a Craigslist ad out and, like, somebody bring me a gator at four. I've got a party and I need, I need a gator. He obviously knew what he was doing. Now, I was, my, my first thought was. After that, no. everybody cheered in mason glasses. Yeah. And, and. You, you went there, didn't you? I did. Oh my gosh. So Dave I says I have mason me, wine glasses. So Don't I shame me. I gave them to you. I know. So Dave says to me, he goes, I wonder if PETA is going to make a stink over this. Because the alligator was mistreated. Well, I don't think he the got alligator watermelon was mistreated. out of the deal. I don't think he was mistreated, but I think just because they Do, involved well, an animal. Well, alligators eat not meat or only meat. Oh, I don't know. Are, are they? Are they? I don't know. Are, what's that? Are called? they like sharks? Om- omnivorous? Are they omnivorous? I don't, I don't think they're. I mean, they're not eating algae at the bottom. I mean, they're getting. They eat fish and stuff. Fish and turtles. They eat turtles. it all. We watch them eat the turtles. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen plenty of that. But anyway, I he obviously knew what he was doing. I don't know. We don't that, recommend this. I don't know that that's how I'd want my oh, gender reveal party. Oh, they want to know if it was a boy or a girl. Boy, it's a boy, boy, boy. In case boy. So the Gator King is having a boy. There will be a Gator Prince. Yes, there will. <laughs> Little Prince Gator. Yes, there will. All right. <laughs> um. All right. So moving on. Moving on. Um. A oh, I love this story. Wait, is this my turn? You want to go to this one? You can. Did do I this skip one. one? It's okay. Okay, we'll, we'll do that one. So. Next. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy Peeps. It tis the season. It's Easter. He gives Give me, me a, a thumbs he up. He gives me a ton of crap. If you like Peeps because I really like. Everybody here knows I love Peeps, and not just do I like Peeps, but I like to eat Peeps after they've been taken out of the package Ugh. and left stale for a Ugh. few days. I so like them. Gross. I like them the when grossest. they're like cardboardy. I don't want them fresh. That doesn't even sound good. I don't want that's, them fresh. That's meat. how I like my sugar, cardboardy. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I actually lick them. She goes and she and tries then I to, gnaw on them. She tries to buy them. In about a month, she'll go to try to buy them all the old ones that are left. I buy every old box that's left. I probably drop do you, twenty like, bucks. Like holes in the plastic and let them. Like, no, I just leave them sitting out on the counter, and then when they're uh, up, I just start chewing on them. Uh, yeah, I do it. I don't oh, care. No, so in no any sense. event, I don't. Care. I don't see any thumbs up. No, so I don't think anybody likes the peas. Nope. Ah. But oh heck no, that's what I see. So if you do enjoy the peeps, she, likes, she likes them hard. Here's <laughs> you. Here's, you. here's a public service announcement about peeps. Just a reminder that peeps are not a vegan treat. They're not vegetarian. Nope, they're not vegan. And the reason that they're not vegan is because they contain or gelatin. And do you know how you make gelatin? I don't want to talk about how we make gelatin. Skin, ligaments, and bones boiled up. Mmm, peeps. Okay, you Crunchy eat stuff peeps. with gelatin in it. Yeah, but I don't eat peeps. Uh, <laughs> get out of here. That is ridiculous. Peeps. Anything I can do to ruin them for you. I love peeps. Yeah. And I will still go to the store and I will buy more. So just saying. Peeps jerky. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I like them like that. Dehydrate them. Oh. Oh, Alexa Uh-oh. says they are best when they go bad. Won't be good with your braces. <gasps> what? You can't eat peeps. Why? They all in because the braces. braces. Are they? I haven't even had one yet. And Easter's Sunday. You'll just have, maybe it'll be like when you have to, when babies gum stuff, you'll just have to put it in there and <laughs> just gum it. I don't know. I had a rough time tonight. We were having... Once again, I think I told you guys this last week. We had this last Wednesday. We had it last Wednesday, too. I made London broil because Mm -hmm. London broil is a cheap cut of meat. Yes. That actually you can make and it's pretty good. Wait, so the cheap cut of meat gets gets made with my turn to come over for dinner? Yeah. I get the cheap cut. Well, because I had to get a big big cut because there's a lot of us to, to feed. But I fed all of us for eight dollars and seventy eight cents because that's how much it costs. <laughs> so I'm and just Anne wants you to do a PSA. I for need peeps. to do a, a PSA okay. for Peeps. Just in case I, you were one. The I more would you like. Know, I'd like to endorse Peeps. Peeps are full of sinew and skin. Stop. <laughs> You're being rude. Super gross. <laughs> They're super gross. And if they have to come wait. in, if the flavors are okay, yellow wait, wait. and blue. It's Somebody like, what goes, flavor is your peep? Yellow. Like, that's not a flavor. It's a color. Okay. What? So somebody goes, somebody goes, oh, Meredith likes it hard. And then Donna said, so does LaDonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Donna with the burn. The straight burn. Mm. So 
let's just say you're out and you're in a field, field, uh, and you're, you're you're running around with your kids. Mm-hmm. So you, your kids, your friends, your friends' kids, everybody's running around. It's this nice big field area in Florida here Mm -hmm. uh, in Oakleaf. I have no idea where Oakleaf, Florida is. I do not know. And so you're just hanging out. You're recording the kids. They're all playing. All of a sudden, you pan to the right. Was this their first sign of this critter? Because they do have a tall tail. Tall tail. They did not see it. They literally walked up onto it. So they're walking, they're walking, no, they're walking, they're walking, they're recording, they're recording, and and they turn, and what do they see? A six-foot diamondback rattlesnake. That's a really big rattlesnake, guys. That's really large. That sucker was this big. His head pops up, looks at him, does does a couple of these. The guy, they had to actually take the recording, the the, the audio off to put it on the news because the guy was dropping F-bombs left and right on the, on the camera. He was actually, they said he was frozen in fear standing there just screaming the F-word. And the snake just went, peace out. He left. He just left. So then they had to try and figure out where he was going. So the cops show up. Florida Fish and Wildlife show up. Everybody is there looking. Because what? A six rattlesnakes aren't like they they don't. They they, they can get that big. Like I, you can. There's big ones. I've seen big ones, but I've never seen it. But this was in a residential area. Yeah. A six foot diamondback rattlesnake in a residential area. So I have totally. Yeah. The best way to eat peeps is to throw them in the trash. Okay. Okay. Enough. So. Enough. I'll have none of this here. Stop it. So I totally more than once as a kid. So we live. We live in an area of Florida that was being developed as I was growing up. Baby says she's ten minutes from Oakley. Okay. So, but I think that this is a, a. Get semi-common out. thing when you when when people start moving into like what yeah, was previously around. woods right you move yeah, around yeah, all the yeah, yeah 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 so more than once when i was coming home like from school as a kid i lived in an area where like i was the only house on the entire block. Lot of construction going they on would there. lay on the um driveway well because the they're sunning they're, sun. they, they're cold blooded animals and you know i'm a stupid kid i have my at the time my disc man you know like <laughs> where you had to hold it like this because if you turned it sideways it skipped so i was walking like this probably <laughs> with the full man. with the full like head Phones, right, so I'm be bopping, right? And like, I'm sure he's like ace of base, like <laughs> really, really, so I'm be bopping, and I'm walking up the driveway, and I hear the like. No. Almost stepped on. Well, this one more than once. No. This this I ran one over with my bike. I was riding the bike. It was a little one, and I mm-hmm. picked my legs up. Oh my god! Because I was worried it like get thrown up in the in, in the wheel. You but couldn't swerve. This, I was going too fast. Oh, he's going too this fast. This picture, this picture now. Bike. This one was at the St. Augustine Outlet Mall. Yeah, that one that I one. saw. Remember? That one That's I remember. An old one. I, remember I don't. I mean, like black snakes don't bother me. Like the like corn snakes and whatever they don't bother we me. We had a wa- rattlesnakes are poison. We had a Not water a moccasin. Those and they're mean. They'll chase That's you. What mean <laughs> and poisonous. You'll die. Water was, moccasins chase. And it was in my front bush. I walk up to the front door and Matthias turned to me and goes, "Mom." Aren't you scared of that snake in the bush next to you? And I said, what snake? And he goes, that one right there sitting next to the front door. I jump back. Ah! I'm screaming. My neighbor comes running over. What's the matter? There's a snake in my bush. Oh, God. (laughs) Stop. Stop. We'll stop while you're ahead. And, and, and so was he comes over. One? Oh, it was. And then we then he comes over with a rake. Why was there a snake in the bush? The kids just ran in and asked when <laughs> the snake was here. He comes in with a rake. He scoops it up. This this snake comes off the rake like this at him. So he's whipping it around. How did it do it? <laughs> he's just whipping it around. And he throws it into the lake. I go, Jerry! You gotta kill it! He knows where I live! He's gonna come back for me! <laughs> when he took notes in his snake, like, yellow his pad. Journal. I was hey, like, Terry! He journaled it. for the day. He went home and journaled about it. I was like, Terry, you gotta kill those! And he goes, that thing was trying to kill me. I had to get rid of it. I said, you, he is coming back now. He Hash, knows where I live. Hashtag snake in my bush. Oh, that snake. And he was Look, everybody remembers their disc, man. Don't come for me. <laughs> Don't come for me. Oh, Elise found a snake in her bathtub when she was oh, in the yeah. bathroom in the middle of the night. Uh, uh, oh. yeah. No, you move. Set the house on fire and move. Just call it a day. All right. All right. Moving on. Donna, moving on. you rightfully feared water moccasins. They are mean. They, oh, they're so mean. They, 
It's the only snake I've ever, like, fishing and, like, in lakes and stuff, is the only snake I've ever encountered that, like, comes after you. Yeah, like, they're not. Like, the they're other not, ones they're leave. Afraid. They're like, oh, it's a person. Blah. Water moccasins are like, screw you, person. Well, they're not, yeah, they're not nice. They're not nice. All right, so let's end with, since we've run over, let's end with Carnival Cruise. Carnival Cruise. All right. Go ahead. So, some child had some foresight. 2012. In 2012, he created... This is Snapchat? Mm-hmm. He created a Snapchat account. A chat, a blah, 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 blah. He created Snapchat a Snapchat account. account. And the name for his profile? Carnival Cruise Line. Boom. Because Mike why? Tried. He was going on a Carnival, Carnival Cruise, Cruise. And he was parents. 12. And he's 12. And he wanted, to, he wanted to Snapchat the experience. Mm-hmm. So what happens in 2018? Carnival Cruise descends on his town in Virginia. Richmond. <laughs> to find him. They actually put up billboards. To and find him. They Shaq. go, do you know, do you know Darian? Who is the Snapchat handle at Carnival Cruise. And so they literally went out and found him because they wanted to buy the handle yeah. on Snapchat from And what him. did he sell it for? Poor guy. Darian needed some representation. <laughs> he only got, All we got was a $5,000 voucher for cruise Carnival bar- Cruise. Voucher. But they said there will be some surprises for him <laughs> on the cruise. Yeah. Now, if you are a part of Hot Mess Express, I will tell you the surprise I found on my Carnival Cruise. That's oh, an after yeah. party for That sure. is an after party that story. Is, that is a late night. That is like not party. appropriate for that's viewing a, that's here. That is TVMA. After party. That is TVMA. That is TVMA. But I will tell you if you come to the after party what I got, what surprise I got at my Carnival Cruise, okay? All right, but... But moving on, that is that is it. So make sure Ooh, to head over. Chantal said when she was little, a boy threw a snake down her shirt. <gasps> I would have. I caught the little ones and threw them at my sister. That's not funny. Like corn snakes. That's not. It was funny. actually really funny. No, it's um, not. It's terrible. It was hilarious. She was also very afraid of lizards, so I would throw them into the room and then that close I the door. Had a and had we had the doors. We had the doors that tame. swung out, and no, it was a hall. These are so not you could okay sit stories. with your feet against the door, <laughs> so you couldn't open it. So I throw you the lizard mean. in, and then close the door. It's probably why we didn't get along for a very long time. They get along just fine now, but it. that was very, very mean, and I don't condone that type of behavior. But yeah, so make sure to head over to that'sinappropriate.com forward slash welcome. Sign up. For the newsletter, get the app. You don't want to miss this kind of stuff, guys. And you always want to get your notifications. So if you sign up for the app, you'll be notified of Wednesday. Yes. Filter Free Friday. Yes. Any new videos. Any of, the, yes. any of the live shows you want and any new content. Any new content. And you can you, connect. You could, if you want to upgrade, you could join Hot Mess mm. Express and you can come to the after party. Mm. It's the after party. It's the after party. Don't stop. Stevie, it is absolutely funny when it You can even like, connect. Yeah. You can even connect Things with that others would be in unthinkable the app. to other people, and, to a sibling. And you mom. connect with the other moms on the app. Uh oh, my mouth got sucked to my brain. <laughs> why do Why do I live where the air hurts my face? You ask. Snakes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we do have the snakes. Yeah. Well, and the bugs. We have lots of bugs. And swamp ass. And swamp ass. All right, guys. We will see you next. We'll all see you Friday for Bulletproof. Oh. MK. Is in here. MK. Hey, MK. Hey. All right, guys. We will see you very soon. MK lives near us. MK does live. She knows near about us. the snakes and the bugs she, and the swamp ass. Don't lie, MK. Ass. You know. All right, we'll see you at the after party.